<laughs> Hi everyone, I'm back. I have no idea what happened. Um, for the last time you guys saw me, I was losing weight. I was, you know, things were going great. Um, and then, what happened? <laughs> I guess what happened, I think, is I got a job. Um, you know, I got a job and I just didn't have time to make videos. I fell off the bland wagon, starting putting weight back on. Um, I started this whole journey like a year ago. I think it was August 2010. We were almost full circle and I'm back to square one again. I have put on a lot of weight. A lot of it was due to the last holiday I had, which wasn't that long ago, which I think was in March. I don't remember how much I'd lost up to. I think I'd lost a decent amount of weight, maybe half a stone put it all back on pretty much so I had to get back on here in fact I was actually supposed to make this video yesterday it's Tuesday today and I was supposed to start on a Monday but um, I just didn't have the time to and that's just the story of my life these days I, it's just I find it hard to have time and the time I do have to myself I find it difficult to have the strength to make a video because all I want to do is rest and you guys get it I know you guys do we're all human um, and I don't really blame myself as such but I know that if I left it any longer I would pull in more weight and I just need support at the moment and just see where this takes me so I find myself here in front of my new webcam which I hope you guys are enjoying um, and now I can actually sit in my room and don't have to blame my camera having a battery and whatnot and again you know that is my problem you know I just blame so many things when really it's just me I think I think it's just me I hope you like the new hair of course that's this is the wrong channel to talk about that a lot of you really want to know what I've been doing um, I haven't really been doing anything the last time you saw me I was a vegan I was clean eating I was like exercising now I'm not exercising um, because the winter came uh, I was working um, I, I work from 9 to 7 and that leaves me very very little time to actually have the time to exercise because I don't just wake up at 9 I wake up earlier than that to get ready for work um, and by the time I get the things that I want to do for myself I end up having very little sleep so it was just too difficult to find time and trust me I have tried. I have tried. Um, I tried cycling to work, but it got very dangerous. Uh, I was just wasn't very good at it. I tried um, running after work, but by the time I finished, it was like nine. Actually, by the time I got out of work, it was pitch black anyway. So that wasn't uh, ideal. So anyway, um, all in all, my exercise attempts failed. Maybe I could have tried harder, but I still can't really think of what the solution would be. I would call myself more of a vegetarian these days. I find myself slipping not so much dairy to be honest I'm not the biggest dairy eater but from time to time I have to eat fish for some reason I end up eating fish and I blame I blame my holiday mostly that I just had because when I was in Hong Kong it was very difficult to, to not eat I didn't eat any meat per se I, I don't think I did no not in Hong Kong but I ate a lot of fish and seafood so um, anyway um, now that I'm back, uh, I am really, really trying my best. And I'm honest to God, really, really trying. Um, a lot of the things I did yesterday, you if you still <laughs> keep up to date with me, even though I haven't been around, if you read my blog, I wrote about preparing and focusing this week. Um, right now, I've got a four-day off. So yesterday was my first day off. Today's Tuesday, obviously. And Wednesdays and Thursdays, I have off too. So this these four days, you know, I mean, I could have spent it going out and stuff. But, um, I mean, I will be. But I, I'm spending most of this time trying to give myself, you know, quality time to actually look after my body. Because I've just neglected it so much. The problem I have really is giving into temptation. Um, and I know this problem that I have where, like, I blame my mum for buying all these naughty things. And I know really she should be supportive, blah, blah, blah. She could be more supportive. But I guess she tries in her own way. Um, and, I, and I say, you know, you shouldn't be doing buying those cakes because it, it makes me eat them. But obviously I... I make myself eat them. Trying to lose weight again. I don't, I don't know when I'm going to get bored. Do you know? Like, I do it over and over again. 
again and I fall down and pick myself up and I know a lot of people think yeah that's the right attitude but I just want to know when am I going to succeed when am I going to have to stop picking myself up and actually you know actually do it do it so a lot of you will want to know how much do I weigh now I mean Jesus oh I remember when I first started this I think I was 12 stone point eight pounds in fact actually I can look here and what I did actually is I ended up deleting a lot of my progress just because I wanted to start again start fresh but I do know that at the very beginning I was 176.6 pounds um, right now I weighed myself as of yesterday oh, and it's crazy because I weighed myself again this morning just out of curiosity and I've somehow put on like four pounds from what I weighed on Monday I'm starting to not believe my scales and be a bit confused but on Monday I was 172 pounds 0.8 so that's 12 stone 4 pounds technically I've lost 4 pounds from the very beginning of this journey which is you know in the time that I've been doing this which has almost been a year that is rubbish of course a lot of things have fallen in, in my life um, like I am working constantly I have this is the first time I had a break since that large holiday I had in March um, you know I've worked so much that my wrist is um, not good anymore and I don't really see my friends that often because I don't have that much time um, so again I think I'm blaming things but I mean there, there must be a reason you know and I'm trying to trying to figure out what it must be and maybe it's because I don't well may I don't know I know that when I'm at work somehow for some reason I find it hard I, I don't know I guess when I'm bored I eat um, what it is is that I'm not distracting myself I guess and I know that exercise used to distract me from eating it used to make me feel focused but these days I just I, I can't somehow muster the energy to to exercise so I need to find a new direction obviously I don't feel as healthy as I used to I'm starting to walk funny I remember when I was really big like wait like I was obviously at one point I was bigger than 178 pounds at one point I was almost 13 stone so when I was at my biggest I mean when I was at my biggest I wasn't like hugely big compared to like some other people but I do remember us being able it's not being able to walk as well as I wanted to you know like you start to I don't want to say it but you start to like waddle and I, that sounds really stupid but it I know what I'm trying to say is basically because I don't know your weight stops you from being as agile uh, walking as fast as you want to be obviously you can't run and let's not even talk about you know um, trying to walk fast with carrying things you know those and then like my job is quite is quite labor intensive it's quite demanding to what I do so um I know that putting on weight isn't helping my job but anyway yeah so now that I am putting on weight I am starting to feel a lot fatter and that's when I started to worry I, and it's bothering me you know I'm losing sleep over it um I mean, it's got to the point where colleagues are starting to, like, comment on it. Not in a horrible way, just in a concerned way, I guess. Um, which isn't great, which is actually very, very bad. Um, I can't ramble on for too long, because the only reason why I'm making this video is because I remembered. I, I've literally woken up, I've gone out, I've done food shopping, I've come home, I've cleaned the kitchen, I um, had to rearrange a lot of pots of things which I'll explain to you in a minute and uh, in a minute I'm going to go clean, clean the bathroom and um, vacuum and sort my bedroom out. I, you know some people wonder why I do these things on my days off, it's just because I just, when I'm working five days a week and I have two days a week off I just can't bring myself to clean. Anyway so I'm definitely wanting to give this a go again um right now i'm not promising frequent videos i'm not promising anything because we all know what happens when i promise things i break them um i'm gonna first focus on my nutrition because i know that's gone out of, out of the, the what do you how do you say it's gone out of the it's gone out <laughs> out of the window 
Um, what I'm trying to do is just reread old things that I used to read, like The Kind Diet, um, watch videos that I used to watch, um, like Food Inc. Um, and just try and re-inspire myself. It really is just time for me to get back out there and, you know, join, rejoin you guys for the, all of the you who are actually still losing weight. And, you know, the, some of you guys who probably started losing weight with me has probably succeeded already. And I feel quite ashamed. <laughs> Coming up, hopefully, I'll we'll talk about you know things that I've been doing interesting things about my food and uh, in terms of exercise I don't know what I'm doing yet I, I know I know I know it's awful I think that this, the main strategy is basically to reassess my health um, trying to get everything straight um, trying to eat properly and then you know then I'm gonna start to think about calorie counting because I'm worried about overdoing this calorie counting thing. I mean, maybe it was just too much for me last time. I don't know. That's how sad I am. Right now, I'm just trying to look at my portions. The problem is, is that for some reason, I'm, I'm eating really huge portions. And there's the problem with working with people who can eat huge portions and not put on weight. You know, either they're men or they're just women who just don't put on weight. And I'm like, I'm one of the biggest there. I'm not the biggest. But anyway, portions have come from about that much to uh, about that much. I eat a lot now. Um, I'm not drinking my water. I, I mean, I eat a lot of vegetables and fruit, don't get me wrong, but it's just I eat a lot of carbs, make that bad carbs. Dairy has slipped in, but like, well, it did slip in quite a lot at one point. Um, you know, obviously I'm eating a lot of seafood, which, you know, is high cholesterol. Um, and I'm just basically not taking care of myself as, as well as I should be. Yesterday was a quite a good day because I got to go into my local health food shop, which is Holland and Barrett's, and buy a lot of things for the sort of vitamins cupboard. I got myself a B12 supplement because if I'm not, if I'm gonna like take out all sorts of meat and seafood. I'm, I'm going to have to take my B12 vitamins and um, I have got a new supply of aloe vera juice and acai berry juice um, and and it's really awesome I'll show you another time but um, I've uh, I've got these little airtight jars which I brought from Ikea today and I love them uh, they were extremely expensive in House of Fraser but I found them cheap in, uh, in Ikea and uh, what I've done is I've got a whole load of uh, nuts and seeds which I've ground up because I was advised by a colleague who is one of the nicest men on earth he is um, like my dad uh, do you know he's um, and he, he was telling me about the breakfast he has and I know that you know uh, it's not anything new to me, obviously I knew about it before, but he kind of reminded me um, about the importance of nuts and seeds. Um, and he basically, it's, it's quite simple, he makes porridge, but he uses, obviously he uses milk, but I would probably just use oat milk, because that's just what I use. And then he grinds up uh, linseed, I use golden, but you can use golden or brown. Um, he grinds up linseed, walnuts, walnut, which I won't have a lot because I'm slightly allergic to it almonds, black sesame, um, is that it? Um, and I've also ground up rye flakes uh, and he basically mix and uh, cooks that in with his porridge and he eats that with um, goji berries or raisins on the top and he has that five out of the seven days and he's had he's been eating like this every morning for the last two or three years I think I think he said and he told me that it has changed lots for him. Um, and I just feel like, you know, it's time that I gave my body the proper nutrients it needs. Um, and, you know, hopefully that way actually it'll make me fill up, I mean, feel full for longer. The problem I'm having now is that I'm not sleeping enough, so I wake up really late and then I don't have time for breakfast. I run out with a cake in my mouth, you know? Um, and I know better than that. Do you know, I, and I know better than that because I've taught a lot of people not to do that. I preach about it in, and, and I know, but I mean, I also know that I'm just human. I can make mistakes, but I, I don't, I also know that if I keep making these mistakes, it could be like fatal eventually. <laughs> um, I can't keep doing this. so I've been so yeah I've been doing that um, and just trying to eat small portions and when I'm hungry I'm drinking water 
and um, stuff. <sighs> I know this video is quite long-winded, and the only reason why it's so long-winded is because I haven't seen you in so long. Um, I've got to stop talking now, but I will be back, I promise. I promise I will be back. That I promise you, I promise. Um, you know, please send me some encouragement and send me some good luck wishes. Um, any advice you want to give me, you know, some new tips that you've heard about. Um, and basically, let's get the ball rolling and let's restart this. I hope you guys are having a lovely week. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Say hello. Say hello. Hello. Say hello. Okay, you get off then. Get off.